Hey guys, now with the long anticipated release of VMware Fusion Player version 13, which officially supports Windows virtual machines, we're going to be taking a look again at how to install Windows on ARM into the virtual environment. Alright, before we get down to the actual installation process, there are a few things that you want to prepare. First, you want to grab an ISO of Windows 11 22H2 ARM version. The ISO that you download from Microsoft website supports exclusively the x86 architecture, so you will not be able to run that on an M2 or M1 MacBook with the ARM architecture. You are going to want to grab the ISO through UEP dump, and I will link a tutorial in the right hand corner of the screen right now that shows you how to do that. After downloading and compiling the ISOs, you are going to want to create an installation media for your ISO. This can be done through third-party tools like Rufus, which is strongly recommended for this project because it can save you a lot of time later on in the process due to its ability to skip privacy questions, skip requirements regarding TPM and Secure Boot, etc. If you want to see how to bypass those requirements using Rufus, click on the pop-out banner in the right-hand corner of the screen right now to go see that video. But for now, let's get right ahead into installing the virtual machine. Same as last time, we're going to choose create a custom virtual machine. Only on the next menu, the differences begin to appear. Instead of only seeing Linux and other on this menu, we're going to see Microsoft Windows as the first option because it is now fully officially supported. So after checking that, we're going to click continue. And on the next screen, as though we can select UEFI secure boot, we are not going to because we have already created the installation media to bypass that requirement using Rufus. So continue. And on the next screen, we're going to be prompted to generate a password for our TPM. We're going to remove this TPM later, but VMware also mandates this password to be entered every time this virtual machine boots up, so make sure you don't lose it. The next two screens here will ask you to configure a virtual machine, as well as to choose a location to save it. After you choose one, it's going to automatically open the configure settings menu for you, and you can configure it according to your preferences. But a thing to note, in the USB and Bluetooth panel, for those of you that struggle to get into the boot menu upon boot up, you are going to want to select your installation media to automatically connect to Windows upon the virtual machine booting up, like I have selected here. And as promised, we are going to remove the TPM because we don't need it for this installation. However, that's not going to stop VMware from prompting you for your password every time you boot up the virtual machine, unfortunately. With your preferences dialed in, you can now start the virtual machine. And since our bootable media will be the only bootable device, it will automatically boot into that. If you want a full-length tutorial on how to install Windows, I have a video linked down below in the description. Since we use Rufus to create our installation media, we don't even need to connect to network during the installation process. And just like that, we've arrived at our desktop. So as you can see, Rufus has created an account for me as well as set everything up nicely. One last problem remains. Although this is a fully featured, officially supported edition of Windows, VMware tools still refuse to install no matter how hard I try. Hopefully this will be fixed in a future update, either on VMware's side or on Microsoft's side. Either way, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.